nigga. That's right. Now, you watching my video, I ain't even came on with a disclaimer because this is real raw, uncut, un raunchy, unbiased, unedited, may hurt your eardrum. Fuck all that cute shit. Now, the reason for this video right here is this is in response to the um, to the female. Uh, it's a video that's going by viral on the internet. It's a female. It's on uh, YouTube, and it's World Star Hip Hop has the video, if you will. But it's on YouTube. And then the title of the video is uh, "Chick Says She Can Steal Your Man or She Would Take Your Man If You Don't Treat Him Right." But the female is in a car and she's filming herself and she's keeping it 100. Now a lot of people is calling her a thought. Uh, uh, hood rat and then you got two the 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 uh, the real purpose of this video i'm getting at them two african-american women that be on here they got a split screen one be on this side another be on this side and they talking and shit and they hating on this chick now the chick came real now she kept it real and i seen there's an african-american dude on here calling her a thought and i'm trying to figure out why because see you, you don't want to give people credit where credit is due. Now, she just broke the internet. I'm talking about the female in the car. I'm on her side 100% because she kept it real. She kept it real. If you got, what she's saying is, if you got a good ass nigga at home and he's showing up like a nigga, she's using the word nigga, but she want to say man, okay? Now, damn all the politically correct shit. If you got a real nigga at home and he's treating you right, treating you to respect, he's handling his business out in the street, and she's not judging him. Because if you listen to her video, she said, I don't give a fuck if you work at Walmart, Burger King, you sell drugs, it don't matter. You still coming home, you doing, you handling your business how you see fit. What she's saying is you don't have to be a, a white collar ass nigga making six figures. She would like that. Any bitch would. I'm not calling her a bitch, but feel what I'm saying. All right. Any female would like a nigga with money. Any nigga would like to have more money. I mean, duh, shit. But what she's saying is just like they say with church. All right. Church said, come as you are. And that's basically what she's saying. Just come as you are, but keep it real with me. If you work at Walmart, say you work at Walmart. Don't be saying you work at a, a fancy ass job and you don't, because I'm gonna hold you down working at Walmart or wherever you work. So that's real to me. And I don't know why y'all tripping by McDonald's, because hell, they talking about they want fifteen dollars an hour, which they're gonna have to give them. That's a side video. Come back to this channel. I'm gonna do meat towel and I'm gonna do some shit about that. But let's keep this video going because this is about. Um, this particular shit here. Now the woman in the car kept it real. She kept it one. I, right? I'm sitting here like that look, that little emoji with the fucking heart eyes and shit. I'm sitting here looking at that video like shop because that's real. And the the fact that she say she had some dudes before and she's single show you that those dudes didn't appreciate. What the fuck woman that, they, that she had That she is And then you got these two corny ass Black ass females On YouTube They always get their ass on here And try to analyze some shit Single ass mid Midlife crisis ass bitches That's right And if you're watching this video And you know them two African American assholes That be on YouTube Talking and shit Analyzing folk Now one of them look Ugly ass motherfucking hoe said, Oh, she's a prostitute. <laughs> I don't mean that literally. I'm just trying to be funny. But my point is, what point, bitch? The point is, what? You single? You got to live in that boring ass life on YouTube, critiquing and analyzing other motherfuckers. Because your life is boring as fuck. The fuck out of here. Compared to you two hoes, I will take this female in the car and on date over you two ugly motherfucking bitches. And on date. And on date. And on day. That's real language. Alright? Now go to the hood and decipher that shit since you slow as fuck. Proper one to be speaking ass bitches. Bring your ass down to the hood. Bitch, eat some hot wings and fries one time. Alright? Go in the store and do a five finger discount one time, bitch. Silly bitches. But you got the nerve to get on here and analyze and critique somebody because they said they, they get a man head and shit. Uh, that's what you two single boring looking ass bitches should do too. 
All right, bitch. Get on your knees, bitch. Skid marks, bitch, is what I'm saying. I right, bitch? I right, bitch. But see, y'all, y'all, y'all too cute for that. You want to, oh, you want to be all proper, and then you wonder why you're single. But the female kept it real, though. All right, she kept it the G. A1 shit. That's that real shit. That's that real shit that niggas gravitate to. Real niggas like that. I'm sitting there, like I said, I'm sitting there with like the fucking emoji with the hearts in the eyes and shit. I'm sitting there like, I need that. That's the shit I'm talking about. All right? That's what I'm talking about. Even though I'm in my alpha male bachelor mode, me towel movement, you know, anti-simp, anti-beta male, anti-blue pill, I can resonate with that female, though. I'll go scoop her up. Oh, yeah. We'll be cruising the city like a motherfucker. Please believe it. Because that's real to me. I can gravitate to that. Because when I'm going through hard times in this world, as an African-American male, and I'm being attacked, I'm already stressed out when I walk out here in public. Because not only can I be killed by my own goddamn race from being hated on with this black on black crime, but I got to also be paranoid about you racist ass motherfucking white cops walking around here with your little undercover KKK shit going on. I also got to be paranoid that when I interact with you corny ass motherfucking cops that I know that your ass can corrupt and cover up and come up with evidence and concoct the story and he got a gun, he got a gun. All that fuck shit you do. Of course, there won't be no body camera footage, would it? No. So when I see a female like that, keeping it real, she broke the internet. Give her her motherfucking credit. Y'all, want y'all, them, them two bitches, they nigga. If you're watching this video and you see them two black ass motherfucking hoes, they split screen one hole over here and one hole over here. Tweet them my video, tag my video, ass nigga. I'm talking to you bitches, you two ugly ass motherfucking hoes, you. Because I noticed you bitches on here in, in previous videos and I paid you no mind. I listened, but whatever. Because every time, y'all, I think y'all be talking about interracial dating and, and why, you, why you single, you know, desperate ass, lonely ass, midlife crisis, hit the wall already ass hoes. Looking for a man, John, ass motherfucker to come save your ass. The fuck on with that goddamn feminism shit, bitch. Alright? Go go check your tampon and make sure it's not leaking, alright? Premenopause ass hoes. So you hating on this female right here. Must be hating on cause she's younger than you. Obviously. And she kept it real. See, she's saying shit that y'all wish y'all can say. And then you wanna hate on her. Then the bitch talking some, well, you know a clock. Uh, when it's dead, is right at least two times out of a day. So what she said is, is it it is true. Well, keep it real then. Don't don't try to degrade her and make you feel up here like you saying something that's just miraculously different. But see, that's what's wrong with the African American race, and that's what's wrong with women. Period. And uh, newsflash, 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 you two old ass bitches. Yes, niggas, niggas want threesomes, bitch. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So do me a favor. Won't you two ugly ass bitches kiss each other and try it out since y'all friends, right? You trust that her coochie is clean. I'm talking directly to them hoes that, that goddamn do the split screen shit on this YouTube critiquing everybody's shit all the time. You two bitches. Do me a favor and kiss, damn it. I got 50,000. 50,000, damn it. Kiss, motherfucker. I will give you motherfuckers. Kiss. Trick-ass motherfucking hoes, nigga. I can't stand it. And there was some old corny-ass dude on here calling her a thot. This nigga did a 25-minute video about this female. For what, nigga? You know you'll be right there in line trying to get that coochie. Simp ass motherfucking blue pill, beta male ass nigga want to sit here and try to try to act like he motherfucking remotely an alpha male. Nigga, you can't be an alpha male and you putting down women all the time, bitch nigga. 
But see, that's that's what's wrong with niggas in general, though. Some of y'all niggas get it, and some of y'all niggas is like, it's just like Korean Gaines when she was up there in Baltimore and she was killed by the officer. And they talking about some weird Korean Korean Gaines should have complied with the officer. No, Korean Gaines is a motherfucking G, nigga. I will always have respect for that woman, even though she's twenty three years old. There's no way in hell that she should have been in that house with that five year with her five year old son and that officer sitting in her breezeway and the little punk ass forty year old ass boyfriend that she had a fake nigga ran his ass out the door, which is what that female right there in in the car video is trying to tell you. If you got a real nigga, a real nigga would have been right there with Korean Games with her five year old son with the guns loaded up like what nigga. Ride or die. That's what this feet. That's what Korean gangs needed, and that's what this female right here in this car in her video is saying. When you got a real nigga, you need to recognize that shit, and you need to appreciate your nigga. See, that's what's wrong with you females. When you when you realize that a real nigga get away from y'all, and then y'all realize that the, it's the small shit that count. But as y'all get older, y'all realize that shit. But see, you need to realize that shit beforehand. Or you're going to be on YouTube like these old bitter ass motherfuckers here critiquing and analyzing what the other female do. That shit kills me. Now, when I have females over, like female here, get ready to get her shit and get the fuck out of my crib. I had to get out of my mood of being romantic and come on kick that real shit. I have to. Because when I seen that video of the female in her car and she keeping it real, that's, that's some real shit to me. I can fuck with that. I can fuck with that. Let's make sure we got these bills paid. Let's roll this weed up. Let's smoke. Let's drink. We can play a little video game if you want. Watch a movie. I don't give a fuck. Listen to some music. You know I'm going to beat that pussy up real good, right? No drama, no stress, no arguing. What we fucking fighting about? And that's what she's trying to say. But see, you corny ass women don't get the shit. And you want to quickly call her a thot, a hoe, a hood rat, or whatever. Instead of just listening to what the fuck she say, just like y'all do in my videos. He say the cracker and N-word a lot. Nigger, cracker. Well, listen to my motherfucking message, nigga. You don't think the government feeding you genetically modified food, nigga? Huh? Huh? But go right ahead. Get caught up in the... Get, see, that's the Matrix. The Matrix says stupid shit. And you listen to the stupid shit and instead of listen to the real shit. The real shit is real. But see, the Matrix is going to throw that loop, that shit in there to get you all fucked up. And see, you follow the fucked up shit instead of follow the real shit. But give a shout out to this female right here, man. Alright? We're a star hip-hop. It's a female in the car. She's sitting in the car. She's doing like a video. She's talking and keeping it real. Alright, the video is on YouTube. The shit is going viral. Alright. It say chick says she will steal your man if you don't treat him right or something along those lines. But the video is going fucking viral. And you got a couple corny ass motherfuckers sitting here and spent time doing videos about how she's a thot and she's a hood rat and she's a diss. And them two corny ass, black ass, midlife crisis, pre-menopause ass bitches that sit and do the split screen shit, talking back and forth. Every, every fucking time y'all sit, that's all y'all bitches do. I watch y'all bitches from a distance when I'm doing my me towel and just being in alpha male videos. And I'm talking about Black Lives Matter shit and all the other shit that I talk about. And I, and I watch y'all bitches from time to time to see if y'all gonna say something else besides the shit that y'all say. Like, bitch, is you talking about this Illuminati shit, bitch? Save me, bitch. Because can you females tell me something that I don't know about this country? Give me some awakening shit, bitch. Just start hating on motherfuckers, bitch. But that's what y'all hoes do. This video is strictly aimed at them two hoes. And that punk ass nigga that spent 25 minutes talking about a video about she's a thot. But be the same ass nigga lined up trying to goddamn get them good, goodies from her, though. All right? Punk ass motherfucker, man. We on that real shit. It's your boy, the definition of realness, nigga. 
Solo mission. SMP. Don't be fooled by Illuminati, nigga. It's real. To that female, I got love for you. All right? Since it's Wednesday at the time I'm recording this video, hashtag WCW. You feel me? I'm like the emoji with the heart eyes. <laughs> it's real shit. To you old bitches, die.